Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus. Last time we, uh, I think we beat Argus. I can't remember, it was like a week ago. Maybe two weeks. It's really difficult to remember that kind of stuff. Especially after, like, things been, like, you've been... I mean, like, it's just a week ago. Sometimes it's hard for me to remember things. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to go fight the final Colossus. Which, um, I've actually already tried doing that before. Last week, I tried fighting this guy and beating the game. But, uh, the game decided to be a duty face and make it really difficult, and I fought the boss for an hour long, and then after a while, I went screw it and gave up. So, uh, we're gonna hopefully not experience that. Where am I supposed to go? I can't remember. Oh, down here. Okay. But hopefully we don't have to deal with that kind of junk. I really do hope this is the last episode of the Shadow of the Colossus Let's Play. Because it's the last fight and all. I know we're probably going to have like some ending sequence or whatever. But uh, I, I'm kind of ready to be done with this Let's Play. It makes me angry every time I record it. And uh, I don't think it's been one of my more popular Let's Plays. But you know, I don't mind. It's still a good game. It's just really hard. It makes, like, my my hair fly out of its yeah. hair holes. Yeah. Yeah. Hair pores. Those little hairy spots. Anyway, I'm talking complete gibberish and nonsense. Let's yeah. go find the next guy. He's like, I'm probably going completely the wrong way. Or the right way. I don't know. I like the shade of green. Let's talk about the color of the grass. It's quite yeah. green. Isn't it? It's just lovely. I think so. Oh, we're going directly in the right way. Now, there are things about this last fight is like, I do have to give something to the creators of the game. It's really, really cool and atmospheric and well done. The only problem is, it's annoying. Because if you fall down once, you get to climb all the way back up. And Wander doesn't just die from the falls. No, he most of the time I live. I live from these falls. I don't even have to deal with a game over. I just have to climb on back up. And the same music track plays over and over again as I go insane. So uh, hopefully we don't have to experience that and... Ugh, aggro. Re Fine. I'll do this. Let's go. I actually read earlier today that apparently if you're like lucky enough, you can jump and grab onto like birds and fish and things. Oh my gosh, not you too, Wander. There we go. Sure, it'll hurt your legs a little bit, but I think you'll be able to deal. But yeah, like, if you get lucky, you can, like, grab onto birds and hang on to them until your stamina runs out, and I thought that was pretty cool. Where are you, horse? Uh, he's gonna get stuck on a rock. Or I think I saw him coming after me. I would love it if you could get over here, because I kinda need you. Ooh, I'm a horse. I'm stupid. Oh, here he comes. Uh, you wouldn't jump over a cliff for me before, but you did there. Come on, Aggro. This is important. We have a fight to go complete, and you're busy goofing around, and I'm busy jumping into you, trying to get onto you. Because that's how you mount a horse. Another gosh darn one of these. Okay, at least it's got an incline. Ooh, I do like this over here. It's like, you got a weird gate thing, and then you've got, like, a puzzle. It's not really a puzzle, it's just kind of like a cinematic gameplay device thing that it's gonna have going on here. Hey there, birdie. Flying along with me and all. Looking cool. Let's jump off, launch ourselves 50 feet. Now here we are. Look, it's so ominous. Really, I thought it should be bigger. It seems a little small for me, but I'm just being picky. What are we to do? We have this sword that shines light. Maybe we should poke it in the hole. Whoa! I completed a puzzle. This game isn't just fighting. It's got really intense thought-provoking puzzles, guys. That was pretty hard to do right there. Yeah. Now, let's yeah. head on in. Yeah. Towards the final boss. Ow, a wall. Yeah. Move. Yeah. Ugh, I love my horse. Yeah. Through gritted teeth. Uh, <laughs> and I really can't see. The camera is being a pain right here. 
Now, if I do remember, Aggro doesn't like this set of stairs. I might be uh, forced to make him not try to climb these. I know he's doing fine. I lied. Uh, oh gosh. Come on. You don't. Okay. Okay. There we go. I'll I'll give it to you. You're being good. Now come on. Let's just jump this gap. There we go. Oh. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh no, that didn't happen last time. I actually made it last time. <laughs> I think I'm dead. Where am I? Oh, I'm pretty dead. Yeah. <laughs> let's try that again. Time to, uh... Oh, let's do one of those, like, those jumpy things where I cut from one spot to another. Go! Okay. So, we made it back here. Apparently there was a save shrine down there all along, and I didn't even know about it. But, uh, yeah, we came back here and saved, so if I do die, I don't have to go through the process of riding over here again. Uh, I also ate a stamina newt that was found down there as well. So, uh, I believe you may be able to find a newt down there if you're yeah. looking for one. Now, let's line ourselves up with this and not completely die. I've got a good- here. Go, Acro! Go! Ride to- Ride! Ride, horse! Ride! We can make it this time! Yes! We made it! Keep going, you stupid! I love you, but you're so stupid! Come on, Acro! Get over here! No! Agro! Well, that's unfortunate. The first time I actually saw this happen, I felt pretty gosh darn sad. But after an entire Let's Play with you, Horace, you've kind of made me a little aggravated. I hope you're okay. But, uh... Don't get caught on rocks. It's aggravating. Again, I still hope you're okay. Just, uh... I don't feel as bad. And I already went down with you last time, so, uh... There, we've shared the experience. Gosh darn horse. I hope you're okay and all. Whatever. I do I do like aggro. Just uh He was a pain throughout the entire let's play. Let's just hope he's okay and we'll cross our fingers and say, I hope you're okay. But I'll also cross my fingers and hope that he's a better like he's be has better control mechanics and doesn't get caught on rocks next time uh we see him, if we ever see him again. Sorry about that, Agro. Time to climb some grass. Let's uh, go face off against the final dude. Probably somewhere up here on this rather intimidating mountain. Ah, uh, they really make the final boss like quite forever to get to. My oh my, it's just building things up. I mean, along the way, Wander loses his best friend, and uh. He's forced to climb lots of stuff, like he usually is. So it's pretty intense for him right now, you know? Anyway, it looks like we're here. Um, welcome to the area of the final boss fight. I have this guy's name memorized, so I don't need to shuffle through papers this time. Awesome. Now let's hope this doesn't take an hour long to finish. <laughs> that would be awful. Um, oh wait, we're not here actually. I lied. Sorry. More climbing. However, you do get to watch as things get stormy really fast, which I don't know how. It was a completely sunny day outside, but you know what? I guess it's just a flash storm. Ooh, what the hoo-ha is that? That looks like our angry hoo-ha. Oh, yep. It is our angry hoo-ha. This giant monstrosity is malice. And he is one of the most atmospheric, coolest fights in this entire game. He really is quite frightening, and I do think he's pretty gosh darn well done. However, he's a pain in the freaking butt. Hi there, Malice. I'm ready for an hour, probably an hour plus of suffering. That's why I started at 11, instead of like later. I mean, I could have been, like, cocky and been like, Oh, I'd be able to do this really fast. But nope. I'm not going to think that, because this guy's tough. I've got given myself, like, four hours to fight this jerk. Now, the thing with Malice is he doesn't... His attack, his only real attack, 
is he shoots lightning at you. It's pretty intense. However, it will screw you up, so uh, don't get hit by it. It's really intense, and it's really cool. And this entire first half is you dodging all the crap that he fires at you. And it's quite fun. This is like the best part of the fight. And like, even later, it's still really cool to do. Just later, if you fall down, it makes you really angry. More so, it makes me really angry because I'm the one playing. Now, if Wanda would climb up with this, this block... Oh no, he's uh, too busy to climb on that block. Anyway, I, I'll try to stop complaining. I really don't want to like complain throughout this entire episode. I do think this is like one of the best fights in the entire game. Like, the entire setting with the storm, and the clouds, and the dust, and the music is just all really cool. By the way, turn around and you get like a freaking awesome sight. That's every single Colossus we killed, making a little cyclone in the sky. I thought that was pretty groovy looking when I first found that out, which was like last week, so yeah. Now this part of the fight's a little tricky, you just gotta run behind here and hope you don't get shot. However, there isn't much of like a blast force behind these things, so you don't have to worry unless you actually get shot. Also don't jump. If you think jumping into a hole will help you, it won't. He'll like snipe you out of the air and send you flying. It's a pain. So just like, ru just run straight for the hole and fall in. Rolling could be good too, but I can't remember how to roll. I think it's not circle, is it triangle? Because I'll have to know soon. Maybe it's L1 tri- nope, that's like focus in on him. Uh, oh, oh, not here. Let's not play that game here. Let's play the climb around game. No, it was, there we go, it was R1 and triangle. Now this part. He really can't hurt you as long as you're careful. Um, if you're not though, you could easily fall off and die since we're on the edge of a cliff. And it really sucks. Here it's not so bad of that, just it's like getting over over to the next part where it's like that. Oh! <laughs> I just like pooped a little bit. Not really. But uh, that was quite foul game. Don't do that. Now what we want to do here, we don't walk out in front of that. He will like blast you off. You want to climb behind here. Because it's relatively safer. And like if you do climb up there and stuff, he'll just shoot you. And it'll be a pain. I mean here he'll still shoot you. But at least it gives you some time to like let him load up. And then run behind the wall. So just be careful, you gotta it's a, it's a lot of timing and running and stuff. And a lot of groovy dust like flying around. Because, again, this is a really well done fight. I like it atmospherically, just not gameplay E, Or at least the second half. That part sucks. Now where are we? Um, where- actually, the, the better question is where is he? Because he is what we have to worry about. I think he's up here. Oh, yeah, he's right there. We are right on him. However, you can't just climb under him. No, he'll shoot you. You have to find some way under him. We gotta find an underground passage. Are you kidding me? Why don't you climb up these stairs, Wander? Or are you... You're too good to do that. I see. Okay. Well then. Well polished game mechanics here for you. Let's just climb that. There we go. Give... Oh, slip down on the rock because it's raining, you know. Slip down on the rock because it's raining, you know. There we go, finally made it, you know. Here it's a little bit tougher, you know. Because he's busy shooting crap at you, you know. And you gotta dodge all of his crap, you know. And then you fly in the pit and you get shot. Get up. And then, I don't know why the programmers did this, but they made it take forever to wander to... For run for Wander to regain his senses and get up. That happens the entire game, and it really makes me mad. Just because whenever you do get shot or knocked down, Wander just doesn't get up. He's, he's taking a nap. Will you please climb the stairs? There we go. Now, is he gonna shoot one off, or am I gonna have to be tricky? I'm gonna have to be tricky. 
Okay. Uh, pew! There we go. Okay. Um, here comes the next one. Pew! Are you kidding me? He didn't hit me. Ugh. Hate this fight. I like it, but I hate it. It's like a bad relationship. I don't know... <laughs> it's like I'm an angry spouse with Malice. We got married, but it didn't really work out. However, I've been having... Sp Apparently, I've been cheating on Malice, and... Because I married a pigeon recently. <laughs> so, yeah. At least the pigeon is nice to me, though. So, eat it, Malice. I don't want to be in a relationship with you. There, you didn't shoot me that time, you little bugger. Now let's just get in this hole. There we go. Finally, we've made it to the climbing part. I mean the legitimate climbing part. Not the climbing up to this point part, or the running around and climbing to this point part. We've made it to the Colossus. And it's kind of cool, because really, he can't do anything to you. Except for knock you off. But he really doesn't put up much of a fight. He's a big stationary tower. However, he's not entirely stationary. These big, like, chunks of rock tend to move around and shift and stuff. And you've got to be quite careful, or else you'll fall off and die. Like I did, like, a billion times last time. Well, minus the death part, because it was one never-ending torture game. It was horrible. Or I should say, it is horrible because it's still going on. Because I just picked up the game again and I was like, gonna beat the game tonight. Hopefully I do too, because I have a pretty awesome Let's Play planned. And as awesome as this game is, it makes me angry playing it, and I kinda wanna be done with it. It's the kind of game- I really don't think this would've- I mean like, I, I think I have second thoughts now on Let's Playing this game. Because as cool as it is, it made a pretty weird game to let's play. I always felt pretty aggravated whenever, like, I fought the guys, and then when I had to edit for, like, two hours long, it kind of made me aggravated. But, you know, it was still a good let's play nonetheless. I still enjoyed it, except for the times where I got really angry, <laughs> which were all the times. Now let's get up here. Don't complain about your own project self. You still have fun and stuff. I almost said and stuff again. You know, I really need to stop doing that. Now, we're finally on the Colossus Colossus. Now this part of the game, like, there's some points that I have a little bit to say to the developers about, and they're not like kind words or anything, because- Oh, fupadookies, okay. But like, there are some later points where you're supposed to do stuff, and it doesn't really prompt you to do it. And there's nothing really telling you what you're supposed to do. So that's a little complaint I have. And it's really easy to fall off him at this point. Now, get over here. It actually is pretty cool how you have to climb onto him, though. It's a lot of moving around on his hand. However, this part's a pain too. Because he gets really interested. He's like, oh, looky there. I got a little piece of crap on my hand. Better flip it over. Oh, there it is. And then you gotta get on here. Hope he doesn't shake you too much, and I fall off and fall. Oh, I think I'm dead. I'm not? Okay, I don't see the logic in that because I just fell like 20 stories, but um, apparently I'm still alive. Let's climb on back up this poo. Climb. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. Stabby stab. There we go. Now, can we please jump backwards? There we go, on the hand, finally. Let's see if we can get on the arm this time. Oh, look, I got crap on my hand. Oh, looky there. My hand's real freaking hairy. I need to get a hand shave. Those don't exist. <laughs> Grab on. If you flip me off this time, I will be cross with you. Oh, oh, oh. Fudge. Move. Move, Wander. I have no idea what you're doing. 
Oh, just flipping. Stay on. Just whatever you do, don't fall off. Just whatever you do, don't fall off, or else I will be upset. Okay, we're on the hairy part now. About time. This part is where I got stuck last time. Oh, nope. Oh, looky there. There's crap on my arm. I'm gonna flex my biceps. Looky there. Okay. Stabby stab. Things get funky here, folks. Jump into the hand. Jump into the hand. Jump into the hand. It's not working. Of course. Because this game is fun. Jump backwards into the hand. The jumping mechanics are real good. Time to what? Uh, time to jump into the hand. Time. Jump into the. <sighs> there we go. Finally. Now, this part is what made me really mad last time because all he does is like stab his hand. Or n <laughs> not stab his hand, but all he does is uh, just kind of roll his hand around. Like he's mildly interested with you. Now, what you gotta do here is frustrating. You've got to pick out the shoulder and stab it. Game doesn't prompt you to do that, but uh, it's worth a shot, you know? Oh, I got some crap on me. Better jump there. There we go. We made it to his body. Okay. Now if I fall off here, I'll be sad. But because that that's real hard to do, folks. Oh, fuff. What the heck is he doing? That's really not cool. Um, can I paralyze you? I don't know what that did, but uh, it's mildly interesting. Wh what? Wh what do I have to do? Oh no, that was for um, that was for when you have to shoot him in the arm. Okay, so it does kind of prompt you to shoot him. I'll give the game that, okay. Let's get up here now. And finally on the freaking head. Oh boy, this is where he starts having a party. I didn't get this far last time. But, which, that's kind of cool that I made it here. But he's not really giving me much time to move. There we go. Okay, can we stab him here? Did that do damage? I couldn't really tell. Let's climb further down, you little... Oh, you jerk. Stab him, Wander. Stab him. No, he's just gonna shake the entire time. He's having a party. Having ourselves a party. Having a good time with the family. Don't even know the song. Um, oh, you really like to rear about, don't you? Um, I'm gonna get off. Because if you throw me off, I'll be real pissed. Having ourselves a party. Chilling out with my home bros. Gonna fall off your body. I made up that part of the song. Let's edge our way up there. We have full stamp. This is good. Okay? This is good. We're on his little head spot. Look, he's got a pretty little tattoo. And we're gonna stab it. Because we're like, tattoos are bad. And they're a bad influence, especially one on your forehead. Unless you're the Avatar. Then you're cool. <laughs> or it's a cool tattoo. Personally, I wouldn't get a tattoo because I don't want to get one. And it kind of would... I mean, I don't like them. They're kind of permanent, but... You know what? Enjoy your tattoo if you have a tattoo. Not this guy, though. This guy is the worst of tattoos, and that's why we must stab it out of existence. If he would, you know, stop putting up a fight, that is. Wander surgeries. Here we go. Wander, stop. Stop. Jeez, Malice, you could at least use a different music track for this part. I know it's supposed to be, like, significant and cool sounding, but, uh, it's just kind of aggravating. I'm rearing back. Rearing back my head, having a party. Gonna fling you around like you're a little piece of trash. A little booger on my forehead. Why is this the- Why didn't they build armor for this part of the head? That's what I want to know. I'm gonna go get more stamina. Because I'm gonna fall off if I don't. Okay, just walk off. There we go. 
hanging out with my family, having ourselves a party. <laughs> okay. Let, let, let's not do this right now. F oh, f that was crazy. Oh my god. Get up, Wander. Get up, you lazy poop. Wander, I hate you. Wander, I hate you. Wander, I hate you. Let's go over here. It's safer. There's more crap to grab onto. Why you only have this... Why you have nipple armor? I was predicting my nipples. They're valuable to me. Okay, get on there. Okay. Stay. Really? This is the most essential part here. Not falling off the upper half of this jerk's body. Because really, everything else is fine. No, everything else isn't fine, actually. Everything else in this level is a pain. Malice? Now, now Malice, you have a horrible tattoo. It needs to be removed. Would you stop? Stab. There we go. Ugh. Will you? Please. My sword is like magic. I mean, like, it's magic and stuff. Why don't you react like... Well, I guess he is. It probably stings and burns and stuff. Like, whenever Voldemort pokes him. Or whenever Harry pokes Voldemort or whatever. It's kind of like that. It's like Harry Potter's scar right here. Like, you know, the fourth fourth book, or, or I'm more so associating with the movie because that's where it shows Voldemort doing it, but books are better than movies and all, even though the movies are pretty good. But, um, you know where, like, Voldemort goes, I can touch you now, and pokes Harry in the forehead, and, like, he screams, oh my goodness, my head! But not really, it's more so like a normal scream. But that that's what I associate this part of the game. But will you stop? You pile of pain. One more is all I need. One more. My head! It's in angry. <laughs> My head's in angry. Die! There we go. Done. Game's over. We won. Hooray. Final boss. Defeat. Oh my god. Die. Really cool defeat. Really cool boss. Bad gameplay. Really, really bad. <laughs> Uh, don't fall your de don't fall your death. If you die, just noodle me, noodle me right now. There Ooh, that's kind of cool looking. Following noodle death. Intense. <sighs> okay. <laughs>